Hello and welcome once again to our daily Africa Cup of Nations show on France 24. Well, where else to begin than at the Douala Stadium where Mohamed Salah stepped up to score the winning penalty as Egypt knocked out the Ivory Coast to reach the quarterfinals. France 24 sports editor Simon Harding was at the game to soak in every minute and uh, despite goals hard to come by, in fact none in the entire 120 minutes, uh, Simon it sounds like it was an absolutely intriguing affair with a tale ultimately of three goalkeepers. Uh, let's hear how it unfolded. Who else but Mohamed Salah to fire Egypt into the quarterfinals of the Africa Cup of Nations? The Liverpool forward scored the winning penalty in a tense shootout between the Ivory Coast and the Faroes in a match that was very cagey with few opportunities on both sides. The Ivory Coast dealt a heavy blow as Frank Kessier, AC Milan's midfielder, was forced off after half an hour with a knock to his back. From then on, the Ivory Coast lost control of midfield with a change change of a formation orchestrated by Patrice Bommel, but a change in formation that led to no avail. Sangare came close from Ajax with a good uh, save uh, by the Egyptian goalkeeper in the first half, but it must be said that the better chances uh, were uh, for Egypt. Uh, Mohamed Salah came close, was denied by Sangare in goal. Zizo came close, Trezeguet had a shot saved in the last minute of extra time. All of these factors leading to a combination where the Ivory Coast failed to put any rhythm in the match. Uh, when the penalty shootout came around, uh, two faultless penalties on each side before Manchester United's uh, Eric Bailly stepped up and his uh, penalty saved by Zamalek goalkeeper Gabaski to send the uh, pro-Egyptian crowd into raucous delirium and then of course when Mohamed Salah stepped up there was always going to be just one result a fantastic result for Egypt who were by far the underdogs coming into this match and who now face Morocco in a very open quarterfinal at the Ajo Stadium in Yaoundé. Thanks Simon well congratulations to Egypt then for the Ivory Coast the search goes on for another title since 2015 and while gracious in defeat uh, we saw coach Patrice Bommel uh, he told France 24 after the game that the result all came down to luck let's hear from him I don't think it's a case of being unrealistic it ended nil-nil but both teams had opportunities however it was a closed game I saw an Egyptian keeper on fire who took out three or four balls that were going in the top corner some shots were a bit rushed, but the keeper did the job, both of them, the starter and the substitute. During the shootout, he went for the ball in the top corner of the net on Eric Bailey's shot. It's a matter of detail, but I don't think it's a lack of preparation. It's luck. It was a very close and even game, but it's a game that makes you grow up. Interesting words there, Simon. He's praised the opposition goalkeeper, but uh, do you think Cote d'Ivoire could have done more? The Ivory Coast have only got themselves to blame for this very disappointing exit in the last 16 stage at this Africa Cup of Nations because after beating Algeria 3-1, the Elephants seemed to like the best team, the best performance with a midfield that dominated everything in its path. But as soon as Frank Kessier went off injured, uh, the Ivory Coast lost the control, lost their shape, lost, it seemed, their impetus. Uh, a lot of uh, players strolling around the park, perhaps not not being able to cope uh, with the difficult climatic conditions, very humid, very hot once again here in Douala, but certainly the attitude didn't seem right from these Ivorian players. And if the rhythm wasn't there, then it played into Egypt's hands. Egypt able to control the tempo of the game, restrict the Ivory Coast, who play with very fast wingers in Maxalan Gradel on one side, Nicolas Pepe on the other side, Wilfred Zaha when he came on, restricted to very little opportunities. Sebastian Haller was a peripheral figure throughout the game, barely getting involved. Uh, a lot of miscomprehension, a uh, lack of understanding between him and his teammates. And that paved the way for Egypt to grow into confidence. Yes, it's true, Egypt didn't offer much. Uh, there were few chances and it was mostly from the Ivory Coast making mistakes in transition. But nonetheless, Egypt remained solid, played to their strength. Carlos Quiros' side uh, really orchestrated a good tactical 
political battle, which Patrice Bommel ultimately lost. And it will be a very disappointing exit for the Ivory Coast, whom I remind you will not be playing in next year's World Cup because they were knocked out by Cameroon. So a lot of disappointment for the elephants and especially a sense of what could have been had they played properly, had they played to their strengths and had they played, it seems, with a little bit more desire. Well, thanks.